Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis, and we're here with Dr. Tom Walsh, who will be out at the Senior Summit, and we wanted to talk to him about the business. Tell us, is it Maryland Primary Care Physicians? Right, it's Maryland Primary Care Physicians, which is a family practice, um, so we take care of infants to elderly people. Okay. And uh, we have lots of people in all different age groups. And we're located over um, right off of Route 50 by the Queen Anne's Emergency Room uh -huh. in that office building right next door. We've been there since that building opened. And prior to that, we were over on Kent Island since 1988. Wow. So how many doctors are in your office? There are five physicians and four nurse practitioners. And nurse practitioners function um, right alongside of us, uh, alongside the doctors. So there's nine of us all together right now. Wow, and your hours of operation? Yeah, we're proud of our hours. Uh, we, we know that a lot of people have to um, get to work and would like to get to the doctor before they get to work or right. in the evening. So we start our office hours at seven in the morning, um, Monday through Friday. And on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're open till eight. And we have Saturday morning hours for people who can't make it during the week. That's wonderful. It, it, you yeah. really enjoy it. Yeah. So if, I mean, it's just a family care? Yeah, you... so, you know, it's uh, family practice. So we see lots of people for the usual things like high blood pressure and diabetes and, and younger people, you know, with colds and flu and uh, acute illnesses. We see people for their well exams, you know, their checkups and uh, children for their checkups. We have... Um, one of our doctors really likes seeing babies, and so we have, we have a lot of babies in there, getting their well baby checkups and initial shots and all that. So it's a wide variety of people that go through that office every day. Okay. Now, a nurse practitioner, the difference, I mean, this is what I was told, so I just want to clarify in case people don't know. Sure. They do the same, <clears throat> they have the same things that they can do in the office. The only difference is they can't admit to the hospital. Is that true? Well, nurse practitioners are uh, advanced practice nurses. So uh, a, um, a nurse can practice in a hospital or in a uh, medical facility with uh, either an associate's degree, a two-year degree, uh -huh. or some nurses have a four-year degree. Um, but then nurse practitioners all have a master's degree. So they've, they've gone on to school to study um, usually some particular area of medicine. And the, nurses, the nurse practitioners we have, uh, three of them are, were trained as family nurse practitioners. So they spend time learning about pediatrics and adults. And then one of our nurse practitioners is just an adult nurse practitioner. So her advanced practice training was just in adult medicine. Okay. But, but they work right beside us. Um, I mean, technically, they're working under our supervision, but uh, all of our nurse practitioners have several years, If I mean, over 10 years experience. Some of them are way more than that. They wouldn't want me to say it out loud. Um, but um, so well, they, they can yeah. work pretty much independently. Right. That's, I mean, the, I, I have a nurse practitioner right. that I see. And the only thing that I noticed with her when I had the bone density, I had to wait. I think the doctor had to look at it or something. There was... Yeah, there's a, I mean, sometimes it, there's an issue if something's right on the edge or they want an opinion from one of the physicians. But, right. you know, we have um, nurse practitioners in our practice that have little specialty niche, niches that are... Um, they know more about it than I do. So we, we all kind of work together. Now, if someone's new in the area, um, can they request a certain doctor or are there some doctors that aren't accepting patients? No, all now, of our or? doctors, yeah, all the doctors in our practice are accepting new patients. Okay. Some of them are, um, like myself, I've been doing it for a long time. It's a little harder to get in to see me, but it's not restricted. I mean, you might have to wait a little bit. Um, but a lot of times what happens to people who are new in the community is they'll get sick and they'll ask one of their neighbors, you know, where should I go? And they refer them to us, which is really nice. And they'll maybe see one of the doctors and then eventually choose which one they want to see on a regular basis. Okay. And we have some patients who kind of go from doctor to doctor within our practice because they're comfortable with all of us. Okay. So it's, you know, it works out either way. It depends on what you like. Let's go to the summit, oh, May yeah. 19th. I know, I'm looking forward um, to it. It's, it's going to be, I mean, for those of you that don't know, May 19th out at the 4-H Park in outside of Centerville, Queen Anne's County 4-H Fair is held out there for those of you that have been to that. But they have vendors come out. Um, so you'll have a table there with some information about the practice. We will. We, uh, we're there every year. It's really a fun event. I, uh, first year we went, um, 
I don't know what happened. I was busy or something and I couldn't go. But the second year I went and I thought, wow, this is really fun. So yeah, uh, every year since then I've been going and uh, there's a lot of really active seniors that are there and get, you know, getting information from the vendors. We'll have some information about our practice. Uh, one of our employees and, our, and my office uh, manager, my uh, practice manager, is usually very creative about making a little goodie bag for, for, um, for the people who visit our table. So we'll have that again this year. And hopefully I'll be there to greet some of the people. And it's really fun for me because I run into some of the seniors that I actually see in the office. Right. And it's kind of nice to see them in a different setting. And um, You know, it's, it's really fun. And actually, one of the things that I like to do is take a little break from the table and go and wander around myself. Yes. Because I pick up little samples from the dermatologist and I pick up, you know, pencils and calendars and all kinds of little goodies. It's, it's really a fun day. Right. And good food. Well, it's also good for the, the seniors to come out there and socialize. It's and, great, yeah. And walk around, and hopefully we'll have good weather. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping that my husband gets his car out there, yeah, right. because they were talking about having some classic cars. Is your husband one of the classic cars? That, was well, there? We, we've been out there a couple times with I, um When I took my little break and went out and walked around, I walked around and looked at the classic cars, because yeah. I, I, I own a classic car myself, so I was really into that. What do that. you have? I have a 1931 Model A Roadster. Wow. And, uh, so you ought to bring it out. I should. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that so, would be fun. Yeah, that would be really fun. I have it. I usually have it in the parade in, in uh, on Kent Island every year, so I could bring it up to Saturday. And think about it. That would be a good thing yeah. to do. So yeah, it's really fun, and it's really fun to see all the seniors enjoying themselves, being really active. Um, some people from the Department of Natural Resources were there one year and had that, those uh, yeah. hawks and owls. That was really fun, and uh, I, I just have a great time. I'm going to keep going even when I'm not working. Music, you know, if someone wants to take a break, they can sit under the pavilion and just listen to the right. music. And I mean, one year, one year we had a rainy day, but it didn't really put too much of a damper on things because every almost Most, everything was enclosed. So, right. Yeah, um, we're in the buildings, and it's just going in between yeah. from building to building. But um, it's a really nice event, and it's a nice event also for. I think it's hard sometimes for people to know what's really going on in the county yeah. and what's available in terms of services and and uh, you know uh, different things for seniors and actually not just for seniors. There's a lot of nice um, services that are going on that I didn't even know about that uh, the vendors show up at the, at this right. thing. It's a fun day. Well, I hope to see you out there. Oh, I hope so too. Think about bringing the car. I know we're going to have that to would, talk. That would be good. Yeah, it'll be great. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming. Yeah. Okay, I look forward and, to seeing you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thanks.